Bag check. After recent movie theater attacks, the country's largest theater chain is stepping up security. Regal Cinemas is now searching through your belongings before they let you inside. As 7 on Your Side's Rochelle Spence found out, this new measure is causing quite the controversy all over the country, including right here in the upstate. A sign of the times alerting moviegoers their bags will be checked for security purposes. A policy change that has some saying it's about time. It's a good measure, I mean, for safety, for everybody's safety, that, you know, we should have some kind of security at these theaters. Others call it an invasion of privacy and say it also prevents them from protecting themselves against an attack. If I wasn't probably coming home from my work, I probably would, I've said this to my wife, that I would probably carry a weapon. It's a precaution he wishes he didn't feel the need to take. Nowadays it's crazy, but you, you think about doing that now because you wonder if you can defend yourself in a situation like that. This new policy was posted at every Regal Cinema we checked. And he shot right at people. It comes after two attacks this summer, one in Lafayette, Louisiana, and another near Nashville. And those attacks come almost exactly three years after the Colorado movie theater shooting, which killed 12. It can happen anywhere. I mean, if it could happen there, why not here? You never know. But on Regal's Facebook page, backlash came quickly from across the country. Once again, another company losing my large family's business for denying my rights to protect myself and my family. Netflix is looking better and better. Rest assured, I won't be carrying anything, especially my wallet near a Regal Cinema again. And just returned two movie tickets because ticket collector wanted to check my bag, didn't ask to frisk my husband who was also carrying, so I guess your policy isn't flawless. I felt very aggravated just because I thought they were doing a little too much. Some say they've already faced the heightened security and what was confiscated my friend had peanut M&Ms wasn't exactly a weapon. I didn't have a bag. They checked my friends and just made her throw out her food and that was really the end of it. It's a policy the company admits isn't perfect. In Spartanburg, Rochelle Spence, 7 on your side. The company addressed the complaints on its website saying that we acknowledge that this procedure can cause some inconvenience and that it is not without flaws, but hope that these are minor in comparison to increase